I'm sure you're all breathlessly awaiting Donald Trump's rollout of the awards for the dishonest and corrupt media. Now, let's face it, this is a bit of a stunt. It's not like the president of the United States doesn't rip the press, oh, every day, every few hours sometimes, using that uh, powerful Twitter weapon. So he cooked up this idea. I mean, this is Trump, the reality showman, uh, that he's going to give out awards. I don't know who the panel of judges are. Maybe it's just him. Uh, for the most corrupt categories, the most dishonest and all of that. Um, and, I, you know, this is the kind of thing where it'll be like a one-day story probably. His base will love it. They love when he, Trump supporters love when he beats up on the press. They don't trust the press. It probably won't change a single vote uh, among people who are either, or let's just say at least skeptical or opposed to this president. It probably won't do, uh, move his agenda a single inch. But he'll enjoy it, and he'll get us to cover it, which I guess I'm kind of doing right now. Um, and so, you know, will anybody really be shocked if CNN wins an award, the failing New York Times wins an award? I mean, I, this is, you know, uh, a way to get some attention uh, for individual news organizations that, you know, at times have run stories that had to be retracted that turned out to be false. In a couple of instances, people have lost their jobs over this or been suspended um, but is that what really this is about, or is this about score settling and the president uh, wanting to go after uh, organizations that publish stories about him and his White House and his administration that he does not like? But here's the fascinating thing. So some of his critics are trying to flip the script, notably uh, Stephen Colbert uh, went on his uh, CBS Late Show, and he said, basically, I want an award. I don't want to be snubbed. And Colbert uh, bought a billboard in Times Square in New York uh, and did one of these, you know how they do this for the Oscars, for your consideration, they tout this great movie, hoping that the critics will see it and maybe it will get, you know, best picture or nomination or best director or best screenplay or whatever, right? Uh, so Col Colbert listed a lot of funny categories, most fakest, dishonest thing, uh, and actually spent money uh, for the billboard. Uh, and, you know, I do think that some of the people like Colbert, obviously he's a comedian, but he's also a social critic, and others, if they are picked for the awards, will wear it as a badge of honor. You know, Donald Trump says, I'm crazy. Uh, that sort of thing. So maybe this is, you know, this kind of goes to the notion that there is a symbiotic relationship between this president and his sharpest critics in the media. Uh, the president got at this when he gave that interview to the New York Times. He's always complaining about the New York Times, but he keeps giving the paper interviews. And he says, you know, the press is going to root for me in 2020 because without me, the ratings will tank, the clicks will go down. He makes money for news organizations. So the more that he is attacked or treated, let's just say, with an unusual degree of aggressiveness uh, by the MSM, the mainstream media, the more he punches back, that plays to his base. Many folks in the press play to their base, the ones who are part of the resistance who don't like Trump. And now he's going to give out these awards and they'll take pot shots at that. All of which just shows you, whatever you think of President Trump, whatever you think of this particular idea, he thinks like a programmer. He's a TV guy. And he knows that um, even as people fume about it, this will drive a certain amount of coverage. Uh, and then he'll move on to the next thing. I mean, whenever, you know, he gets tired of a certain storyline or maybe, uh, you know, he can't get Obamacare repeal through or Bill is mired in Congress, he comes up with, you know, NFL protesting players. And he drives the agenda like no politician I've ever seen. Again, whether you agree with him or disagree with him, he uses these tools. And the latest tool, I am breathlessly awaiting the awards the president will give out to the news business.